This presentation outlines the Secure Jobs and Funding Certainty commitment and why it is important for the New South Wales Government and the community services sector. We will start with a brief overview of what the New South Wales Government wants to achieve under the commitment, followed by some context on why the commitment is important to the community services sector. We will then go into more detail on the commitment, including its governance and implementation. Before we start, we acknowledge Aboriginal people as the First Nations people of New South Wales and pay our respects to Elders past, present and future. We celebrate the diversity of Aboriginal peoples and their ongoing cultures and connections to the lands and waters of New South Wales. The New South Wales Government made a 2023 commitment to deliver more security and funding certainty for the community services sector by introducing longer term five year funding arrangements for key community services providers, establishing a leadership group to engage with the sector on the development of a new funding framework and jobs compact, standardising and streamlining reporting and contract management, and establishing a whole of government pre-qualification process so that organisations don't need to repeat onerous accreditation processes. Let's now look at the community services sector and the challenges they face so that we better understand why this commitment is important. The sector is made up of over 7,800 non-government organisations who provide essential care and support to over 1 million people in the state every year. The sector makes a major contribution to the New South Wales economy, with an annual economic output valued at $15.4 billion. It employs over 230,000 workers. 80% of these workers are women and a quarter are aged 55 or over. Half of the sector are employed on either a casual or fixed term basis. The sector is expected to grow by an additional 62,000 jobs by 2030, and a significant portion of those jobs will be in regional New South Wales. The commitment will focus on New South Wales government commissioning and contracting approaches. New South Wales government agencies play an important role in funding the community services sector, but it's not the only source of funding for many service providers. Commonwealth or philanthropic funding may also play an important role for many non-government organisations. Let's now look at why this commitment is important for the community services sector. The challenges experienced by the sector are diverse and complex. However, the following captures some of the key issues that we have seen in recent reports or have heard directly from non-government organisations and peak organisations. Sector workers are predominantly women and 50% of the workforce are in fixed term or casual positions. Research tells us that casual work negatively impacts on an individual's earnings when compared to potential earnings in permanent roles. Data also shows that female workplace inequalities continue to increase as women age, further decreasing workplace outcomes. One of the drivers behind the high percentage of fixed term and casual roles for workers is short term funding and the uncertainty around funding continuity at the end of funding arrangements. The sector has told government that the recruitment and retention of staff is difficult, particularly degree qualified workers and frontline practitioners. This has become more difficult over the last five years, especially in regional communities. Recruitment and retention is of particular concern as it is predicted that the sector will grow by 62,000 jobs by 2030, with approximately 27,000 of these jobs to be in regional New South Wales. The sector has also told government about the administrative burden of applying for funding and the different application, acquittal and reporting processes for multiple sources of funding. Short-term funding also results in discontinuity costs. This includes costs associated with staff recruitment and termination costs. 
Fluctuating funding makes it very challenging to run an organisation efficiently, such as planning for future staffing requirements and service delivery commitments. Government has also heard that its pricing and procurement approach has an impact on wages, as organisations try to deliver more with limited funding envelopes or compete with other organisations. The commitment will investigate how it can improve on some of these issues, in particular, how the New South Wales government and the sector can work together to improve job security for the community services workforce, increase funding certainty for key community services providers, reduce administrative burden to secure jobs and funding certainty for community services providers. The first stage of the project is the development of a roadmap. The roadmap will outline how the government commitment will be delivered, including key deliverables, how it will be implemented and timeframes. The commitment is ambitious and development of the roadmap is critical to its success. The roadmap will be developed over a period of about six months and will incorporate a review of existing literature and consultation with sector and government representatives. Consultation will likely include broad sector surveys and targeted workshops and interviews. The roadmap will consider potential solutions and prioritise these activities into an achievable program of work. Once the roadmap is approved by government, the implementation phase will begin. As we want this reform to be comprehensive, meaningful and long lasting, implementation is likely to occur over the next several years. The Secure Jobs and Funding Certainty Commitment will be led by the Minister for Communities and Families and Minister for Disability Inclusion on behalf of the New South Wales Government. The Department of Communities and Justice is the responsible New South Wales Government Agency. To support the Minister to deliver priority work streams under the commitment, a Secure Jobs and Funding Certainty Leadership Group has been established. The Leadership Group is made up of key government agencies and community services sector representatives, as shown on the slide. The Leadership Group will advise the New South Wales Government through the Minister for Families and Communities and Minister for Disability Inclusion on matters within the scope of the commitment. Advise on and guide the development of options to be included in a roadmap to be presented to the Minister for consideration describing the key deliverables, approach to implementation and timeframes to deliver the commitment noting that some deliverables will require further design work beyond the roadmap. Ensure there is appropriately broad and targeted engagement and participation from the community services sector and government. Provide strategic direction, instruction and guidance to the project team, implementation and working groups and others who are supporting deliverables under the commitment. Interested in finding out more? Visit the Secure Jobs and Funding Certainty website as listed on the slide. Or email the project team securejobsandfundingcertainty at dcj.nsw.gov.au.